What's up, guys? Mod of Vlogs here. Mod of Hands, back at it again with another episode of Mod of Vlogs. That intro was great. Um, so, today is freaking, it's Sunday, okay? So, you know, I'm just like, alright, we we hanging out with Mod of Girl today, you know? So, I mean, eh, runs better than this one right now. So, the problem with the truck right now, okay? So, here's the truck. So, I don't know if you got, if I put this in the vlog, but yeah. Hit the sign. Okay, so we got a new bed. Okay, the dent is still kind of there, right here. But other than that, you know, it's it, it's it's fine. You know, it's just a dent. You know. Okay, so we come over here, and then there's then there's this. So I started the truck. I had a problem starting the truck today, and it, like it wouldn't start. Like no sounds was no like no engine sounds or anything. And I realized that like it wasn't all the way in park, so I couldn't like take the key out and I couldn't. Uh, start it all the way because it wasn't all the way in park and it was just chilling like that forever so take a look I like I was driving down the road and then like I just started feeling the truck kind of like wobble okay and I got I got to Monte Girl's house and I'm like dude why is the truck wobbling so I was, I was going super slow I was going like 20 miles an hour because like I was so scared that the truck was gonna like explode so we about to, I'm about to show you this. This is, this is crazy. So this is the tire, okay? The freaking metal is there. This is the front right tire, bro. This is the front right tire. That's really jacked up. Let's see if there's anything else. No. And I don't know the, ex the full extent to all of the damage that I that I, you know, made happen that day. But it was too much. And I'm sorry, Dad. I'm really sorry. But the bed looks nice. It's just red, but I mean, it's fine, it's nice. But I'm sorry for wrecking the truck, bro. I just, sorry. Ugh. So now I'm going to attempt to place the spare on the, on the, on the truck. So I don't even know how to get this off. First off, it looks really difficult. I don't know what that is. I thought I needed this, but I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. So I thought it was gonna be pretty easy, but it's not. It's not at all. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to get that off. Uh. All right, so it's like a lot, it's a lot later now, and I decided to give it another try. I had no idea how to take off the tire. But I figured it out. You just gotta shove this big old long pole in there. I just totally showed the license plate. I don't give a freak. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so eh. all right. So you just twist and you just rotate it. You just rotate it and rotate it and rotate it until. The tire starts to lower. It's like freaking transformers, bro. Or whatever. I don't know. Are you gonna turn it? Yeah. We have some WD-40 just in case we need it. But I doubt we need it. Alright, it's almost on the ground. It's on the ground. You can stop turning. Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> I mean, I'm just totally just changing the tire. Ugh. You gotta get low and dirty. I don't like getting dirty. Nah. It's a new shirt. Alright, so for this next part, if you want to come down here, you can. <laughs> what the heck, Speedy? So for this next part, I don't think you can. Can you see this over here? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Anyways, you just do that. You pull that little spring out a little bit. Lift this up and just push that through. Mm. And you just drop it, and you're good to go. <laughs> so, you want to take the time, pull it out. Oh dang. Huh. 
It's okay. No harm, no foul. So you got your tire. Follow me. This way. Right this way. So, this is the tire that we're trying to replace over here. It's got a big, really big gash in it. I don't know how and why that happened, but yeah, that happened. That wasn't me. That was my dad. I don't know. So, these things are supposed to be fragile. And you're supposed to be able to just pop them off. Yeah, just like that. It's supposed to be pretty fragile because it got like little plastic pieces on them. Just pop them off. Alright, and then you'll need your freaking doohickey that does that doohickey. So, yeah. Mm. So we got lots of spider webs on them right now. I don't know what the frick this thing is, but we got lots of spider webs on them. I'm just gonna loosen them up, loosen them up just a tad, uh, if I can. Let's say which way is left. That's tightening, this is, this is loosening. Uh, just uh, loosen them if I can, while there's still uh, resistance. And then I'm gonna jack it up. There we go, that one can. Uh, doing it while there's still some resistance on the tire. Just so that they're able to be <clears throat> hand loosened just a little bit. So it's not as hard. <sighs> that one is garbage. All right, all those are loose except you for that one. That. So that's fine. I now we check it. This. Oh, here it is. It's right here. All right, you recording? Yeah. Right now? Oh, well, well, oh. I found this part. <laughs> it's right here. So basically, you just, you know, put this thing on there, and then start lifting it up, like so. It's a little process. Where you stick in this thing and start doing this number. This is way less complicated than the Fiat. I thought it was going to be more complicated, but it's actually not. You don't want to lift it too high, but you want to lift it high enough, just enough, to be able to slide the tire in and out. It's like an inch or so. A little bit more. All right, right there. That should be enough room. All right. Now, we just Finish undoing these. And they should all be pretty good to go, except for this one right here. Yeah, I'm putting these to go. See, the reason why I loosen them before I pick it up is because the tires can rotate. But I'm glad I'm good enough. I guess not. So, there's some skate lines I can. And just get them off pretty easily. Alright, those two came off pretty easy.
Off. And from here, pretty sure you just pull it off. But I'm no expert. I've never done this before. I seriously haven't. I haven't ever changed a tire by myself before. This is the first time. That's ridiculous. How the frick does that even happen? Anywhere else on this thing? No, just right there. It's literally like it was making the truck like rock to the side, like look at this. It's all sideways. It was literally making the truck like, get, like wobble. So, yeah, let's put, put this in the back. I don't even want to put it back on the bottom because we're just gonna get rid of it, so. Right now, we'll probably take the rim off. But, now, Basically, just do the, the opposite of what you just did. That's okay. And you put this one on. You're gonna make sure they line up with the holes. So you got the one at the bottom. So it's like a, a five. It's like a little, like a little, uh, what's that thing called in the movie? Big fat one, big fat guy, big hero six. six what it looks like. Get the belly, the arms, and the head. Looks like Big Hero 6. So you just gotta line it up, the head on the bottom. Baymax. Yeah, Baymax. That's what, what, like. <laughs> That's what it looks like. See, this rim's a little rusty, but nothing, nothing's gonna stop it from running, you know what I'm saying? Be careful. Mm, Like to do start making videos about hardcore trucks and man stuff. No, I don't really care. Content, gotta have the content. Ugh. And mine is not like a how to, it's more like a this is a how to see modded hand struggle in his daily life. 
the struggles of modded hands, the how to struggle like modded hands. How to struggle like modded hands. Colon, changing a tire. This is definitely how to struggle. These modded hands are struggling. Make sure they're tight. I don't know the exact tightness that they have to be. But I'm guessing pretty tight. But I don't know. I think I got them all. It looks sturdy enough, right? I guess we'll figure out as I'm driving down the road. I'm not even gonna put this back on yet. I'm just gonna leave it off. And that is how to change a tire modded hands way.